Hell of a Boss has been one of those shows that's really hard to check out as a reaction channel because like from the second I watched episode one, all I've wanted to do is binge the entire rest of the series. Fortunately today, we're getting back into it with episode four. Welcome back friends and a special welcome, welcome to all the new friends out there. I'm Yo BGS, and yeah, episode four of Hell of a Boss, we've got Cherub. Now, it's spelled like an acronym, so I'm guessing the folks at Imp are gonna have a tough time uh, competing with some other demons that might be trying to, well, take some of their business away. Also, I'm wondering if in this episode, Solace is going to find out about Velocica. I guess we're gonna find out, but first, I need to remind you that if you dig these videos, if you like what I'm doing, please make sure to check and see if you're subscribed. It helps the channel out more than you know, and I appreciate it more than you can imagine. Okay, first we gotta see if the disclaimer gives anything away here. Warning, the following cartoon contains graphic violence, flashing lights, naughty language, horny humans, horny demons, and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, so no spoilers yet, on what Cherub is gonna be here. Your discretion is advised. Well, howdy, I'm Cletus. Welcome to heaven. Guess you did something good to get here, and good people deserve to give loved ones special blessings. Does it make you want to cry? <laughs> oh my God. The, bl the blood is censored, because it's in the first 30 seconds of the episode. Does it make you want to cry? When your loved one has to die. Does it hurt? Thomas, want the Thomas. Close enough. Non-copyright infringing Thomas the Tank Engine. Does it hurt you through and through when your face is turning blue? Well, luckily for you, there's- Okay, we got Rarity and Fluttershy already. I'm feeling the My Little Pony vibes here. We can, do. we can help keep them alive. So you can watch them thrive. Has here a T-H-E. Hang on, hang on. Spread the love, and we're here for all of us. Surround yourself with people who will lift you up, so ditch your loser friends who you can't use. Uh, God's most famous quote. Dude, I remember, look, if I had a nickel for every time they read that at church, I would have two nickels. No, this isn't Phineas and Ferb. I missed the space bar. And the heavy lifting too. So sit right back and let us bless our soul. That injured oh, good. Okay, wait, so what would the C-H-E-R-U-B be? Be like the something heaven earthly remembrance of ungiven blessings? I don't know. I don't know. I love this pistol, though. I don't know why it looks like a... It looks like an, an animal of some kind. Give me another mox. Oh, no, no, we love the news. Uh-huh, keep going. <laughs> it looks going, like okay going, i forget what her name is i shouldn't have that on going. the screen there we go um that reminds me of a character from the show drawn together if you ever used to watch that show actually this animation style in general but then again that took that made all animation styles so i guess everything would remind you of that in some way hey, uh, say are you looking to get work making crazy contraptions well call me at Wacky Wally Watford's Wacky Idea Factory, where you make the things and I make the money. Please, I'm very desperate. God, it's like every one of those commercials that tells you, you know, you need a patent for your idea, call us, and then send us all the idea, and we'll totally get you a patent and not ourselves. Bingo! Woo, you're on a roll, sir! <laughs> Guys, Red Solo Cup. That? Oh shit, is that a hell shake? That's possible. All right! Don't panic, Moxie! I'm not panicking, because hellquakes don't happen. Stop getting hysterical, fatty! <laughs> oh, dear God! What's the... Okay, what's the ball of yarn? Also, F's in the chat for Moxie. Do not be afraid. And please tell me you got that insurance thing. Who are you and what do you want? Nice call back to the pilot. I am Loopy Goopy. Just the inventor of all things loopy and loopish. Could have just used the door, dude. Doesn't need to be this whole thing. I am eccentric and must therefore do eccentric shit. Oh, 
I thought he was gonna say, I'm an inventor. Oh fuck reeks of the living world. Did you just die? Yes, moment Yes. Like that guy from The Simpsons. What's the matter with you? I had a stroke. Which is what brought me here. Just saying. The front door would have gotten you here fine. Shut up, dear furry. This is the man. Rip. I'm gonna need you to kill. You have to kill an evil potato that's old? Also, she pissed. Not even a shit's length of time in hell and already plotting revenge. I can respect a man with that sort of passion. I'm Blitz, the O is silent. What O? Oh. oh, thank you. Now what's the T, sis? The T? Guys, help! Yeah, why are we killing this guy? I mean, what did he do to you? Housing! He was my business partner. Ah, Also, oh, why wouldn't Millie be helping Moxie? Come on now. You see, I was not always an old man. My partner, Lyle, You still look pretty young in hell. Lyle, be robot. Very dramatic reenactment from earlier that day. Oh. The technological empire. Earlier today, we were testing a new machine intended to stop or reverse the aging process. I'm here for it. It could have saved all three trillionaires. Unfortunately, oh. we neglected to test the machine on the poor, like we usually do. God, too, too real. More of our own genius. But the machine was accidentally set forward. By the time we- Problem is they set it to W for Wumbo. Managed to get out. It was too late. At least for me. Dude. Oh! You may have the worst of it. Now that evil son of a bitch is going to take over the empire we built together. Without me to share it with, he'll make all the goddamn money in the world and become the fourth trillionaire and get all the credit first of all he looks like dr robotnik second of all business business is the root of all evil because this is okay like i understand that this guy is mad at his partner maybe for surviving an accident that killed him but if this guy really had malicious intentions wouldn't he have i don't know not gone into the aging pod when uh eccentric hell resident number 69420 went in there as well like i feel like that's an unnecessary risk it, it was just an accident but that's the thing man business money makes you think you know you look at your friends and then you're like wait a minute and then all of a sudden you're in hell plotting revenge trying to send some imps to kill yeah that's not really evil it's evil towards me <laughs> everything is going dark. Now get your crimson asses up above and send that heartless, no good son of a bitch to hell where he belongs. Y you do know, Poopty. Loopty. Of course, of course. If we do kill him, though, and he ends up down here, you know, you will be stuck with him forever. Oh, trust me. I'm counting. On God. That's kind of hot. <laughs> You got to appreciate that even in his darkest hour, little Moxie down here, Moxie down here knows what he likes. Shotgun, missile, hammer, uh, sword. Also, this dude's giant. But I, okay. So then this guy would be like, because we saw in real life he was tall. So he'd be like 6'6", which means that very clearly uh, everyone in chat who believed that Blitzo was six feet tall is sorely mistaken. That's kind of hot. Gee, I wonder whose house this is. And to your right is the home of famous inventor Lyle Lipton. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it, gang. No. Oh. They actually got human disguises and we get the song again. This song is badass. Let's do it, gang. Let's kill this rich guy. And here you'll find three tacky stalkers about to attempt a murder. Electric Things fence? like this can happen to famous people all the time. Electric windows? Wow. That machine really did a number on him. Goodbye, my one true love. Oh, Dude! The of the God, man! What? Like, of all the humans we've seen in this show, have any of them been good? Leave a comment down below if any human we've seen in this show has been good. The kid was evil. The kids were even more evil. The woman who survived the murder was a philanderer and she was evil. Her husband was evil. There was another random guy that had sex with her that was evil. 
everyone on the beach was i mean i guess technically they weren't evil but like they're in college and let's face it young adults are by proxy evil so you know what i'm saying like look all i'm saying is if you are if you're between the ages of 17 and 20 you know you're evil that's all i'm saying world can't fill the emptiness i'm feeling now that my shitty old body can't do anything of value oh fantastic he's gonna do our job for us Damn! Should we go in there and tie it for him? They would be, they would be hyped about it. Wait a minute! Oh, hell no! Oh, Lord, I'm being haunted by ugly orphan children now. Who the fuck are they? Oh no, sir, those are cherubs, Mr. Lyle! I hate filthy, stinking orphan children. We're here to convince you not to kill yourself, sir. To grant you a blessing on behalf of those in heaven benefited by your amazing technological advances. Oh, hell no! That's what I said! That's what I said! <laughs> Lyle Lipton, it is our humble opinion that you should continue the process to commit die. Yo, tag yourself, I'm Blitzo, and I wish I wasn't. I mean, what did you expect to do with all this money? Now you're old and gross. Is that a serious question? He can help spread his wealth around with the people of the world and do so much good with it and be so fulfilled. Uh, no. He could pay for new hospitals and no. schools. Why won't you let me die? Hookers and blow. Well, sounds like you need help off in yourself there, buddy. Moxie, what do we got for this fella? I have some assault weapons, crossbow, honey bow, tommy gun, old-fashioned shotgun, revolvers in three colors, chainsaws, katanas. He's classier than that. That is customer service. There are still plenty of reasons to live, Mr. Lyle. Yeah, right. Smells like he ain't been out of bed in months. <laughs> Love can be beautiful at any age. And we'll show him. Yeah! No, dude. No. Look around. Attack him! Why? God, you you want to love them, but they suck at their jobs. Nature is a wonder to behold, regardless of age or wealth. If you were to end your life, you'd be missing all of this. Mhm. Mm you gonna buy that load of shit from a baby and the sheep it fucks? Nice lion oh, that's costume. So inappropriate! Oh, kiss our ass, prude. Anyway, take it from me, a fellow genius. Nature is no picnic up close. But see, he's gonna like that. You're just. I, do I have to go back. I talked over the old person talking. But that's the kind of thing he would love to be a trillionaire. You gotta be a ruthless. Mm. Stop looking. I can't stop. I never wanted to die more than I do now. Another human that is evil. We're here to show you another thing like He's gonna die of natural causes before they get there. Wonderment. Why, look at those sweet disease ridden vermin. Their joy comes from innocence spoiled by the burdens of adulthood and their middle class existence. Such simple joy they have. It is inspiring. Thank you for showing me this. Hey, dipshit! Wanna see whose lap you're sitting on? <laughs> Yup. Dude, he was wearing a cutie shirt. Oh my god, that's such a topical reference for the time. Uh, this place reeks of teenagers. Lovers, look out, sir. We're here to remind you about possibly life. We're here to remind you where the next cast of Teen Mom comes from. Is Teen Mom still on? We're here to remind you where the next cast of After Teen Mom comes from. Greatest joy of all. Money. No, love. I've never been in love before. I imagine it's quite nice. It's not too late, sir. You can still find. Ha! <laughs> nice try, ugly. Hey, horny lovers, which one of you would fuck this old man? Yeah. You know, but he has the aging so machine. Cruel. We're just trying to give hope to someone in need. Oh, 
And you three are so superior to us just because we want some selfish, greedy, authoritarian capitalist to keel over dead. You're making things too real now, Moxie. <laughs> <laughs> entertain and live for. So, how do we make this bad? We can't. There's literally nothing bad about opera. That's fact. Unless we ruin it somehow. <laughs> That's classy. <laughs> He's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta appreciate that even in hell, they've, they've got a sense of class. Yup. Yeah. Well, at least we made it bad. We could have started playing the Phantom of the Opera. That's not that far away from what happens in the Phantom of the Opera. You three monsters have messed with us enough. Do we just... Yeah, we're getting so mad. We're trying to do our job. Well, so are we. Enough! We are saving that shitty old man's life, whether he wants it or oh, not. Oh, they're about to well, get smoked. wants that fucker dead, okay? And he paid in advance, and I spent it all on this. So he's gotta go. An NFT? <laughs> Obviously not, because it's real, but... And I spent it all on this. I mean, it's a ruby-encrusted donkey dope donkey? Oh, oh, God, Mar No, 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 no. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Damn it. Mm. You see, it's a horse. Mare. Mare Awana. And, uh... Oh. Sometimes the puns, man, they, they... Look, he could pun... He could pun this old man to death at this yes. point. So he's gotta go! You are all such disgusting, loathsome beasts! Your kind is nothing but dirt that shitty dead people tread on! And now, you're trying to meddle with the lives of humans? So are I you! Stand. So why I don't ship. you shut your trap, you judgmental, cotton candy, tit having bitch! Filthy demon! Okay! <laughs> take a minute by the way to appreciate the animation because this whole like this sequence cannot be easy to put together and my god it's so well done like I love all the pieces of this and I don't know I feel like we take for granted the the talent of the artists doing this like because all of this comes together and just is so good down to like the sparkles on the arrows to make sense now. Life is worth living because we only get one. We must cherish it. If creatures far beyond this living world are going through these lengths over my life, then certainly it's worth living. Killing myself is not the answer. Plus, I'm still rich. I could just buy all the things. I no longer crave death. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Oh, Blitzo! <laughs> no, 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 no! Wait! I feel like we just saw way too much of the old man there, but mission accomplished for the folks at M. Well, well, would you look at that. You did our job for us. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my god. Get a hold of yourself, Kyle! 
fallen and do not use the Lord's name in vain. This is it over. Wanna bet? What the? Yup. Mm, yeah, no, sorry, Cletus, but I'm afraid your actions resulted in the death of a human. I'm afraid you can't re-enter heaven. Yeah, no. Oops, Daisy. What? Yeah, mmm, sorry. Yeah, no. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. But we didn't mean to. We never. It was all. Yes, they're gone. Anyway, sorry, guys. But those are the rules. Yeah. Bye. Wait. But <laughs> Oh, you don't get to start that now. The old man wanted to live again, and we didn't kill him, so we failed. Thanks to those fucking cherubs, he's probably up in heaven now, so it's a shame. All our client wanted was eternal revenge on his business partner, and now the two are forever separated, and now we gotta face the fire of fucking up. Sir, when are you going to tell the client? Oh, I already sent him a text, and we're in good hands. Cause you fail, you die. Wait. Tell the client. Oh, I already. You fail, you die. Sorry. Saxophone emoji. I sent him a text, and we're in good hands because texts don't make people angry. Blitz! Lufa! We can explain everything. I was. Yes! Lyle well, Lipton? I don't understand. We thought you went to heaven. Heaven? You don't make millions in technological advances and robotics by not experimenting on the poor. <laughs> exactly! No good, heartless son of a bitch! Thank you for reuniting me with my best friend! The only question now is what do two old genius robotic inventors do now that we're in hell? Join that dude! Someone say I say inventors? Name's Wally Wackford, and I am looking for creative new people to exploit! I mean, implore. Everyone, stop fucking up my walls. Moxie's gonna have to fix all this shit. Imagine if you didn't, oh my God. <laughs> Imagine if you didn't buy the marijuana. If you didn't buy the marijuana, you'd be fine. Now chill out, Moxie. If you kiss my ass any harder, you'll go right inside me. Satan's balls. Yeah. First we deal with heaven's table scraps, now this. I guess. You can say you say you have a holy operation here, Blitzo. <laughs> also, maniacal laugh. Love it. 10 out of 10. So we got Dr. Robotnik, but who is this guy supposed to be? Very clearly Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Get the fuck out! And Foghorn Leghorn? <laughs> They're the immediate murder professionals Except for when the people from hell do their job better than them Then they have to deal with crazy inventors That are living in hell now and probably will come back Or not, I do not know because there has only been like seven episodes so far and when this is in the 20th season, we'll find out I lost, it ran out on me there's something about this show, man. By the end of the episode, there we go. We'll end on something cute today. By the end of these episodes, like I just feel better. I don't know, man. It just it makes me happy. Um, you know, and and if you are here for the hell of a boss reactions, um, I also checked out Murder Drones. You may want to watch that as well. That's gonna be in the same like playlist. Um, if you want to give that a go, I'm actually gonna be streaming on Twitch. Today, twitch.tv slash yo bgs uh, if you're really bored and got nothing else to do you can stop by there but um i'll tell you this there are not many shows that i get so pumped about like i put this in the same category as like f is for family because i'm a huge bill burr fan and i love that um i mean bob's burgers is another show that like i watch all the time but like this is this to me is funnier than that for different reasons. Like they're two, you can't really compare the two. So I just know I'm pumped for episode five, which I'll either put out tomorrow or on uh, Thursday, depending. If you watched it this far, make sure to check and see if you're subscribed. Take care my friends, and I will see you for the next episode.